welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all about staying fit and healthy during pregnancy. I'm really excited to finally be sitting down and doing this video. This is something that I've been thinking a lot about throughout my pregnancy and I wanted to do a full dedicated video for it because for me it's something that has been so helpful and so paramount in I believe having a good pregnancy and feeling good in my body and it was always something that I was curious about as well before getting pregnant so now I am almost 35 weeks so I'm almost at the end and now I feel like I've really experienced this firsthand throughout my entire pregnancy so I want to share my tips my favorite workouts what my weekly routine is I believe the better we feel during pregnancy I feel like that energy really translates a lot to the baby and a calm and happy mama will hopefully produce a calm and happy baby <laughs> not that I'm calm and happy every single day but I really feel like working out having a good routine and just taking care of your body I feel like that has such an amazing effect on not just your physical health but also on your mental and emotional health as well and also share a little bit about my mindset and motivations hopefully this is going to be helpful whether you are pregnant or not but especially if you're pregnant and you're thinking about you know workouts and staying motivated and what kind of workouts to do then hopefully this video will be really helpful so first let's talk about some general modifications when it comes to pregnancy workouts I was very mindful of not wanting to do anything that could harm the baby or my body or could injure me in any way and the general rule of thumb when it comes to pregnancy workouts is to stick to what you were doing before pregnancy so not trying something new that your body is not already familiar with and that goes for like sports and workout classes the same thing goes for you know lifting weights so sticking to the same kind of weight amount that you were doing before pregnancy and then just in general like a big one is to avoid ab exercises, too many twists in your core. There are still some really great ways to work out your core that are actually very important for sustaining a strong core, for helping to actually keep your core muscles toned and strong so that it can actually help you to push your baby out because that is all in the core when the baby has to come out and then making sure that you are breathing properly throughout your workouts that you can do the talk test so that it's not so intense where you're completely losing your breath and panting too much you want to make sure that you can talk throughout your workout this applies more to doing strength training and those kinds of workouts but yeah making sure that you're really breathing a lot listening to your body connecting to your body and always always modify even when doing prenatal workouts pregnancy safe workouts if there's anything that I don't feel comfortable with that feels a little bit funny or stressful on my body I don't do it I think that's really important because we're all a little bit unique and it's super important to like stay mindful of your body of how you feel and also on that note as well not every day is the same for me I feel like I've gone through kind of these growth spurts or the baby has gone through growth growth spurts which means my belly is going through some growth spurts and during those times like I'm not going to do the same kind of workout that maybe I did a few days ago so I think it's really important to always check in with yourself see how you're feeling the baby has been head down for the last few months which is an amazing thing and I think that also has to do with me staying active and stretching and making room and I believe they say it's the most comfortable way to carry your baby throughout your pregnancy and I think that's also again because I've been active and moving my body and she can like find the best way but yeah the point really being to listen to your body to always modify to not do something new that you weren't doing before and no specific like ab crunches or exercises like traditional ab exercises those are like the general modifications that are really important to follow when you find out that you're pregnant and i even started doing this like way way early on just to be like extra safe and cautious and when it comes to mindset and just general motivation i think having a really strong why is important when you're pregnant your body obviously gets heavier and heavier so you start to gain a lot of weight not necessarily like that weight but you know from the baby and all the liquid the amniotic fluid all of the extra blood for example at this point in my pregnancy i believe i've gained around 13 
12 or 13 kilos and that's a lot like imagine just carrying around like a 12 kilo bag all day in your arms or on your body it's a lot of extra weight but when you continue having a good workout routine throughout pregnancy and a good stretching routine as well it's like your body just gradually gets stronger and stronger as you get heavier and i believe it's just a lot easier for your body to manage that extra weight i personally have still not experienced lower back pain or aches in my hips or in my knees or in my back like hopefully knock on wood i just have a few weeks left maybe it will be like that towards the end i'm not sure but up until this point i felt really like good in my body and i think that's from just gently working with it throughout each stage of pregnancy and I just love feeling flexible and mobile and comfortable in my body and also I've heard that labor in itself is a very exhausting process and you want to train your body like you're training for a marathon that's what I've been thinking about as well as like just having that endurance and that stamina to be able to keep up with the process of labor and delivering your child so they say that working out throughout your pregnancy it definitely helps a lot with with labor and with delivery and of course with postpartum and that's a huge part of my why as well like what motivates me I think it's always so important to know your why to remind yourself of your why I've always loved working out and I wanted to continue that I wanted to have a really good routine in my pregnancy and of course the fact of knowing that it really helps with labor and delivery that is like a huge motivation for me because anything that I can do to make that process as comfortable and seamless as possible I'm I'm all down for that again it's really great for your pelvic floor for your core muscles not necessarily like your six-pack abs but your deep transverse abdominals those will help to push the baby out so it's important to also you know be mindful of that and keep them toned and strong throughout pregnancy and of course another huge motivation another one of my big whys is because it's a form of self-care for me working out has an amazing effect on your physical body but also just for your mental and emotional health you know pregnancy can be a lot like there are some you know scary and stressful things about being pregnant like you're constantly thinking about the baby if the baby is okay and you know it's a big life change as well like your routines are going to change it's a lot of anticipation about the future and it's very exciting of course like don't get me wrong i'm the happiest and most excited about life that i've ever been but still you know it's a big adjustment for your life for your body you know, and staying on top of my self-care and prioritizing my workouts it's like the biggest mental therapy and stress release for me and i feel like i can really see that result now at the end of my pregnancy like wow i still feel really good you know i'm definitely moving a little bit slower these days at almost 35 weeks but i'm just so grateful that i continued having a good routine throughout pregnancy because i think that it really did help me a lot with managing all of the sensations and changes of pregnancy okay so now i want to talk about what my favorite workouts have been what my weekly routine looks like above and beyond everything if there's one thing or one workout that you take away from watching this video that is walking i think walking is the most amazing thing you can do whilst being pregnant in terms of how gentle it is on your body you don't need any special like equipment or gym membership or subscription or anything like that maybe just a good pair of walking shoes because that's really important to protect your lower back so making sure that you have some comfortable shoes and just walk in the beginning of the year i challenged myself to doing 10k steps per day i did love to walk a lot before but i never counted my steps but i did get an apple watch actually started with a fitbit and that just helped to keep me accountable for you know the amount of movement that i was doing and i really enjoyed it and that's something that i've tried to continue with throughout my entire pregnancy i don't hit it every single day but i would say like around 90 percent 
90% of the time that's usually how much I'm walking and I love it I feel like the baby also really likes it you know because it's that like gentle movement that gentle swaying walking is also something that really promotes a good um, position as well for the baby and I'll break it up throughout the day so I'll usually do a morning walk that is maybe a, like a 30 minute walk and then in the afternoon I'll have another walk that's maybe you know 45 minutes to an hour totally depending on how I'm feeling and then I feel like I just get in steps throughout the day as I'm home doing things around the apartment running errands and things like that so walking is my favorite and I do consider this to be a workout because you know it is like you put intention into it the next kind of workout that I've been loving during pregnancy is strength training with weights not super heavy weights I'm usually using five kilo dumbbells in each hand which is I think around nine pounds like that is the heaviest of weight that I use because I also do it at home before getting pregnant and before 2020 and COVID and everything I really loved to do body pump at the gym and there you do use a lot of heavier weights I loved doing that I did that for probably five years or so very consistently so when it comes to strength training and using weights I personally feel comfortable doing it by myself since I did have all of those years in a class setting with an instructor so I knew about posture and form and how to lift weights but if you are not so comfortable with that having a personal trainer who knows about prenatal workouts I think that can be really really helpful during pregnancy for you know staying motivated for learning about your body you know your changing body now and feeling really comfortable and safe with the workouts so I think it's all about again like finding what works for you. But personally, what I was doing is home workouts with Nourish Move Love. She's here on YouTube and she posts free workouts that are usually around 30 minutes. Those are the ones that I do. And I love them, like love, love, love. She's very strong, she's very intense, she's super fit. So I definitely don't go at her rate or I don't follow her moves like to the T. For example, if she's going too fast for me or she's doing like jumps and things like that, I just will modify. And I think that that is really important. But she has so many great workouts that are more on the challenging side when I really want to feel really strong and really fit. Like she's just amazing for that. So I've been doing her strength workouts about two times per week. Sometimes it's three times. It just depends on how I feel. I will either do full body or I'll I'll do you know lower body or upper body but usually around twice per week and again the classes are usually around 30 minutes which I feel like is the perfect amount of time I will leave links down below in the description box to specific workout videos from her that I've really been enjoying so if you want to know exactly what workouts I've been doing I will have them linked for you down below another one of my favorite workouts has of course also been Pilates I am such a huge fan of of Pilates. I feel like with Pilates you really target those deep deep muscles in your body that you don't really use like on a daily basis or that you wouldn't use in strength training. It's really about focusing and connecting on those little little tiny muscles but don't underestimate the burn. Like the burn is so real but the movements are super gentle, super low impact. It's really calming. I've been doing Melissa Wood Health for many years and she has a pre and postnatal section on her app. So those are the videos that I've been doing, but you can also find some on YouTube. I just like her style of teaching. I like her energy and usually I will do this again like maybe a couple of times per week it really depends i feel like with pregnancy i do have a routine but the routine is more of doing something daily or every other day it's sometimes difficult to make like a plan of i'm gonna do you know a 30 minute strength training lower body on monday and then wednesday i'm gonna do a prenatal 20 minute um, Pilates. Maybe that day you're feeling a little bit more pressure in your belly, you're feeling a bit tighter, so you wanna modify. But my routine is really about 
doing something whatever it is if that's a little stretching if that's just a walk maybe a shorter walk but just staying consistent i think that's really really important doing pilates and even strength training is really great for strengthening your pelvic floor which is a band of muscles right between your legs in your groin area it's what keeps the baby up it's really important also for labor and for birth and for postpartum just being mindful and taking care of your pelvic floor i think that that can really help to eliminate a lot of the pain that can come with being pregnant you know there's a lot of pressure like literally kilos and kilos of pressure pushing down on your pelvic floor so keeping that toned and taken care of um, pilates is really good for that strength training is really good for that it also really helps with bladder control and not feeling like you need to pee like every five minutes of course you have to pee a lot more during pregnancy that's totally normal but not feeling like you have to wake up in the middle of the night like three four times strengthening your pelvic floor during pregnancy can really help with that i do want to show just a couple of exercises that are really great for strengthening your pelvic floor and also just generally for your core muscles for your transverse abdominals one of my favorite exercises to do is to be on all fours and then you take a big big breath in you let your belly completely hang loose and then on your exhale you pull up your belly but you pull up the muscles kind of like a triangle from your groin area so as if you are holding back your pee those are the muscles that you want to engage and you really pull up your core and make it nice and tight and then on the exhale again you release and you repeat that about 10 times or for about I don't know like a minute or so however long you feel comfortable doing that that is really really great for strengthening your core muscles your transverse abdominal muscles another really great one is the bird dog so you extend one leg and then the opposite arm and you just lift and hold them up and then you release and you do the other side this is also incredible for your transverse abdominals your pelvic floor and then of course i think one of the most important things when it comes to pregnancy and staying fit and healthy during pregnancy is stretching and having that mobility in your body for me i've been very mindful of just creating a lot of space in my hips and making sure that my hips stay flexible and open just creating a lot of mobility and space in preparation for labor so a lot of yoga poses are great for this so for example a lunge when you have one leg in front of the other and just holding a really deep lunge that just feels so amazing like even just thinking about it that feeling <laughs> is so good and then just doing variations of that like whatever feels comfortable another really great one is to do a deep squat so as if you're doing a regular squat but just keep your legs a little bit further apart and then just sit down and use the pressure from your elbows to open up your hips so you can keep your hands like this and then just really press in and again use your elbows to open up your knees your hips and just try to stay in this position for or as long as you can I sometimes like to gently sway from side to side and this again just feels so Oh, so so incredible I also love stretching out the sides of my body so really making just a lot of room a lot of space for baby one of my favorite ways to do this is to sit in a cross-legged position and then just raise one arm up and over and bend towards one side and just really feeling a lot of that opening and release in my side I feel like this is also really great for the baby because you are creating a lot of space and just feels amazing it's great for helping to stretch stretch out your back as well another way to do this is to lay down in child's position and then just walk your hands over to one side and feel that really really yummy stretch on the side of your back and then after a few seconds you move on to the other side and yeah this just feels so so amazing again for your sides for your back i also got an exercise ball or a birth ball pregnancy ball i love to bounce on this as well and do little movements and um, stretches and kind of like exercises on this ball there's lots of great videos on youtube on like specific things that you can do i will have some linked down below but really great for helping to create a lot of mobility and flexibility in your hips and to keep your hips open because that is so important when it comes 
to labor and birth and just really making sure that you have like nice loose inner thigh muscles that there's not a lot of tension there sitting on a birth ball can also be a really great modification for sitting on a regular chair during pregnancy especially towards now like the later part of pregnancy with that said as well like avoiding things like crossing your legs can be really helpful sleeping with a pregnancy pillow or just a few cushions between your knees that's also really great for helping to keep your hips open and just like a good amount of space in your pelvic floor for again your baby to get into a good position with its head facing down for me all of those things combined so walking strength training pilates stretching that has just been so key and i highly highly encourage you guys to just keep moving whatever it is for you going at your own pace listening to your body doing what feels comfortable for you but just having that good routine because i think that that really is so beneficial not just even for yourself but also for the health of your baby just your mental health and emotional wellness as well i feel like it's all so so helpful where i'm at now i'm like i said i'm almost 35 weeks i've just got a few weeks left to go i'm definitely moving a lot slower i'm not doing as much strength training anymore I'm definitely focusing more on walks and stretching and if i do feel like doing anything a little bit more challenging i'll do a pilates class but i'm really happy that i've continued having a good workout routine throughout pregnancy and that i continued with my strength training i knew eventually or i thought that i want to keep doing this for as long as it still feels really good good in my body and I'm excited to do it and that was definitely the case throughout most of my pregnancy but like I said now in these final weeks I'm just really feeling like focusing more on very gentle Pilates a lot of stretching still walking a lot and I think that's so great as well so just really listening to your body doing what feels good for you but being mindful at the end of the day that this is going to help you so much and has also been proven a lot to help with postpartum and just the after phase of having a baby and feeling like you are really strong and connected still in your body if you guys do have any questions on this topic then definitely leave them for me down below in the comments and i can get to them in a future video but i really hope that you guys enjoyed and found some good inspiration i would love to hear if you are pregnant if you are planning on being pregnant in the future if you've had a baby what's your experience been when it comes to working out and staying fit and healthy during pregnancy i would love to hear from you down below in the comments do also make sure to check the description box down below for links to specific workout videos that i really enjoyed some of my equipment that i have at home like the dumbbells the birthing ball um yoga mat yoga towel i'll try to have as many things as i can think of down below for you in the description box but i hope that you guys are all having a really beautiful day thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed and i will see you in my next one.